everyone. Welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekend love scope for Friday the 29th until October 1st, 2017. I can't believe we're into October already. Okay, so Friday, September 29th until October 1st, 2017, using the Witches Tarot. Um, and then I'm also gonna, I'm gonna pull some uh, Tarot Sexual Magic cards too. So I'm kind of gonna do like two spreads. Strictly focusing on love. Those of you that are new, welcome and thank you so much for being here. Okay, we have the Hermit. So maybe um, you'll be spending some time with the Virgo, the Fool, and Justice. So for some of you, maybe a Virgo could be important. No, but this is all about, you know, that going within, taking time, you know, to think things through. I feel like you've been thinking about something for a while now. You know, with the fool, a new beginning it definitely requires you to take some sort of risk, a leap of faith. Some of you, maybe, um, you know, you could be uh, moving toward a Libra. You know, maybe you have, um, you know, you've thought about, you've thought about this, you know, you've, you've weighed your options. You know, this is something that, you know, you're going to bring, that's going to bring balance into your life. You know, this is something that probably is going to serve you very well, if not a Libra. You know, it's something that's that's definitely going to be very favorable for you. It's really going to go in your favor. The Hanged Man. The Tower. And the Page of Swords. Okay, so... I feel like, alright, definitely with Hangman. The Hanged Man. I'm sorry if I sound... I really think I'm getting a cold for sure. Um, I think definitely you've been hung up on this for a while. You know, someone could absolutely be um, enlightening you with the truth that's brought you to you know, make some sort of decision to take a risk. With the pie, with the with the page of swords and justice, I think this is you definitely finding out some sort of truth, information. You know, some of you could also too be feeling definitely a little bit defensive about moving forward. It, it's, it's like you, you know, you're expecting it, but yet you don't, you feel like you don't deserve it. You know, with the tower, I, I really do feel like you're going to be enlightened and start off on a new journey. Things are, things are definitely going to start going in your favor you know, sometimes the tower comes in, you know, it, 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 it shakes up your whole damn world. But I feel like you're totally balanced. You know, you absolutely have been thinking about this for a long time. You know, maybe some of you are dealing with the Scorpio. But...
you know, you've been thinking about it and now it's time to, to just take that leap of faith and go for it. And I, I, I definitely, definitely think for many of you that, um, You're definitely going to be enlightened with, with the truth, some sort of clarity. You know, for some of you, it's like you have found your own truth. You know, you might be, you know, feeling a little defensive you're moving forward, you know, you're expecting it, and you deserve it. I mean, this is, you know, most of the time I see the tower is anticipated, you know, expected. But it's all going to be favorable. You know, whatever it is, it is going to, it is going to work out. But we're going to clarify. Um, sorry, I'm using the distant past. Definitely moving forward. The Eight of Cups, the Two of Pentacles, and the Two of Cups. Oh my goodness, guys, I'm so sorry. Okay, um, the, I mean, this is you absolutely walking away, you know, walking away from absolutely what no longer serves you anymore emotionally. It's just no longer fulfilling you on an emotional level. You could still, for some of you, be going back and forth with this decision. But I do feel like, you know what, a lot of you are going to make the decision, definitely with the Two of Cups. And, it, and I also feel like it's a grounded decision. You know, for many of you, I do feel like you're, you're just, whatever this tower crap is, you're just sick of it. You're done with it. And you're moving, and you're moving towards something new. You're definitely moving toward a new relationship. And you're balanced. Very beautiful, actually. All right, let's pull some. Tarot is sexual magic. They are sexually explicit. Um, so I'm sorry if you're offended. I'm so sorry. But they are amazing cards. I don't read these in the reverse, okay? Just in case they... Okay, the Queen of Pentacles. Some of you are definitely dealing with a... Probably a, maybe a Virgo. Or a Scorpio with the King of Chalices. You have Scorpio and Virgo here too. An Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so you 
you know, the Ace of Pentacles is a new beginning, you know, that that's grounded, practical, you know, your, your heart is wide open. You're, you're ready. It feels like you do have a lot of love to offer someone. Some of you definitely could be starting a new relationship. For others of you, you know, you've definitely realized things within your relationship and you, and you, you know, you want to continue to work on the relationship. Eight of Wands, Two of Swords, and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay. And the Knight of Pentacles, you know, some of you could be, you know, rushing, rushing into something new. But also wanting, you know, wanting to enjoy spending time with someone, especially if you're single, you know, you're wanting this. You know, those of you that are partnered, I feel like you guys have, like, a new idea of wanting to do things, you know, yeah, like a new idea, a new idea of wanting to do things. Maybe, you know, maybe you want to, you know, offer your partner love. Your part, your part, your you know, your partner might be. It could be anything, and I just feel like you know your partner doesn't know how they feel about you know this. They could be trying to, or you, you know, one of you could be trying to like push the issue on something. Some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. So some of you are definitely you know walking away, ending, and definitely starting something new. And others of you, you know, in, within your relationships, you know, you're transforming. You know, transforming things for the better. You know, not doing things the way that you always have been. So you just might, you know, whatever this new idea is for those of you that are partnered, you just may uh, take the risk and go for that. Um, let's get a couple more cards. Some of you are absolutely dealing with a Scorpio. definitely want to come. I guess I'm just going to take them. Okay, the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Swords. That's a lot of action. Wow, and that Ace of Wands. Knight of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. So, wow, I just feel like you know, this is someone wanting to take action. Some of you could be a little bit stuck in your head. And you probably have been that way for a while. I do see that clearly, you know, with the hanged man, you know, the hermit. But now you're ready. Like somebody is definitely ready. You know, they finally have gotten out of their head. And they're and they're really ready. You know, you're you're ready to definitely just take all this action and it, and 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 it's beautiful. There's a lot of love here, there's a lot of action here. 
this is definitely this truth, you know, this truth, this clarity that's coming to light, you know, that's coming in. Again, water energy. Um, water and earth. Maybe a Libra. But definitely earth. Definitely Virgo, Scorpio, Libra. But there's definitely a lot of love. I mean, there's a lot of passion. Those of you that are getting into new relationships, I love it. It just, if it, this, is, this feels on very honest and truthful. All right, these are Journey of Love. I'm going to, I wasn't going to, but I'm, I'm feeling the need to. Um, Oracle cards. I'm probably going to use these in the monthlies, which I, they will be, um, I will start posting them tomorrow afternoon. I'm going to use the Ghost Tarot, being that it's Halloween. It's a pretty cool deck. Somebody uh, gifted it to me. I have no idea. They just, for reaching 10,000 subscribers, they sent me two decks of cards. And whoever did that, just thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, really. Okay. All right. This card definitely wants to come. She's love. That's just beautiful. And you know what? The bottom line with that card is it's all about that. There's forgiveness. There is messages. And there is vulnerability. It is just opening up, communicating. Literally, that card couldn't be a more better clarifying card. Literally, opening up emotionally, expressing how you feel, and 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 I do see that happening. Definitely a lot of enlightenment, truth, clarity, and it's honest, open, very vulnerable, very, and with a lot of love. And I already said that before, that there's a lot of love here. Somebody's ready to take action. And beautiful. Leave your comments, guys, because this is, seems like a very romantic weekend. Very passionate, exciting weekend. Definitely. All right, guys, have fun. Thank you for taking the time to view the video. Again, have a passionate weekend and I'll see you guys back here soon with the monthlies. Take care. Have fun. Bye-bye.